Greetings, readers of GameZone. My name is Tom Caswell. I'm here with Tatiana Morris and Travis Samores. How's it going? And we are going to be talking about a lot of comic book stuff today because Suicide Squad is releasing just around the corner, August 5th, which is this coming Friday. Guys, are you guys excited for it? Yes. A thousand times yes. I can't wait for it. Uh, more or less excited than you were for Batman v Superman. Oh, I mean, I personally love the movie. I was looking forward to it. I'm probably more excited for Suicide Squad, just because that's a lot newer. We haven't seen that done yet, except for like animated versions, which also was great if you haven't seen it, Assault on Arkham. But um, I, I'm definitely excited to see what they're gonna do with it. It looks like they're doing a lot of new novel stuff. And I, I'm, that's what I mostly wanna see visually what they're gonna do with it. Tatiana, sounds like you're on the complete other end of the spectrum here. I'm a negative Nancy. Yeah, we know this. Um, no, Will Smith saying it in the title. The title, I mean, so what, we some, some kind, kind of suicide, suicide squad? squad? No, not okay. People say also, that all the time. He looks like a puppy trapped within Will Smith's body who's trapped within a villain's body and he doesn't want to be there. He doesn't want to be there. He doesn't want to be there. I do see that in some of the shots of his eyes and I don't, <laughs> I don't know if it's his character or if he's like, God damn it, I'm fucking in this movie. Um, I'm, I'm, and and it's it's actually nice we laid it out this way because I'm totally in between. Like I, I was not a huge fan of Batman vs Superman. I even watched the Ultimate Edition, still didn't do it for me, and that's a real shame because I, I, I was hoping that movie was going to be good. Um, but Suicide Squad, I think it's going. I think it's. I'm intrigued to see it. I'm going to go see it because of the the fact that it is something we haven't seen yeah. before. Jared Leto's Joker is obviously, you know, no matter what you think of that, you're gonna wanna see how that actually plays out. Um, and seeing and seeing these characters, I'm actually super excited for Killer Croc. Yeah. I think Captain Boomerang's gonna be a ton of fun. I'm also really curious as to the actual plot of the movie, because there seems to be a lot of, they seem to be fighting like these stone warriors. Do you know what that's about? Well, from what I understand common, um, is going to be playing Tattooed Man, where if you, if you don't know who that is, basically he's covered head to toe in tattoos, and his power is he can make his tattoos come to life and attack people with it. Um, they haven't shown him any of the trailers. Yeah, it, it's, it's actually really cool. <laughs> but I'm actually amazed that they've kept him out of the trailers. Um, that big demon thing we see ripping apart the subway, mm -hmm. supposedly that's him, but that's all we've seen. Uh, but he is definitely in it, and he's supposedly the bad guy. As I just much got as... way more excited for this movie now. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, awesome. <laughs> w they've released, uh, you know, like 80% of the movie already just in tra I mean, in Comic-Con alone, I think they released like eight or nine clips, a character-exclusive trailer for everybody. But I'm amazed that they have shown none of him in the movie so far. They've, they've kept the actual target of what the movie's about under wraps and just focus more on the characters and what we're doing with them and the angles we're taking. That's probably because when the Batman v Superman movie came out, all of the trailers were like, great, so I don't have to watch it anymore. Thanks, thanks, so. Do you think they actually like learned their lesson and like that was actually like something they kept in mind with all the, uh, you know, people being like, oh, they showed Doomsday off in the trailer, like, didn't save that. Do you really think Warner Brothers, like, took that on and was like, okay, well, we're just not gonna give away any of the plot. We're just gonna give you these fun character bits. We're bad guys. It's what we do. But you're not gonna know anything about the Suicide Squad. To a certain right? extent? Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Because how many reshoots has Suicide Squad gone under? Mm -hmm. <sighs> So what can we do to make people keep coming back? Hmm, you know, don't show off everything in the trailer. Surprise people, which maybe you just ran the surprise. Great job. Warner Bros. is gonna come I'm after sorry. you. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, ex I'm excited for that. that, that that's a really, I did not know about that character. Yeah. That sounds really cool. Uh, obviously, the, the Suicide Squad, the success of it is probably gonna be based on how fun these characters are. And obviously they are really pushing, um, We've got Jared Leto's Joker, but it seems that Harley Quinn is going to be the mainstay of the film, which is really cool because that is a, you know, a, a female, a female yeah. character, which is, uh, we've seen them in comic book movies, but they've never really let the show. Um, that's obviously changing now with, uh, you know, Brie Larson was just announced in yeah. Captain Marvel. She's getting her own solo movie. And this kind of reflects what's happening in the comics, uh, trying to move away from that white male protagonist 
and um, recently, the most recent uh, announcement was um, Riri Williams, who is a uh, female black MIT student, is now going to be the new Iron Man. And this continues uh, the fact that we have a female Thor, Sam Wilson, who is African American, is now Captain America, and we're just seeing a lot more diversity in comic books. Um, how do you, how do you how do you take this of them like taking these classic characters and giving them a new spin, making them new people? I've thought a lot about this, and honestly, it it really does depend. Um, you really can't lump them all together at once. Like for example, Captain America, mm -hmm. Sam Wilson, Falcon taking over for Captain America. That's that's felt very natural because mm -hmm. Captain America is is I guess what you would call a legacy hero, where there's been different people to don the mantle and it kind of gets passed on. There's been a lot of people to be Captain America. Mm -hmm. And even in the comics, Cap and Falcon team up all the time. Right. So that felt very natural. Something like, you know, um, Riri taking over, that felt kind of forced. I mean, I'm not saying that's an odd or even a bad choice, but it felt like it was just there to kind of appease the masses. I'll, I, I, I do agree with you. I, I think. It'll be interesting with Riri, obviously, because we're also getting two Iron Men. Yeah. Uh, Doctor Doom is now also going to be. Yeah, Iron that's. Man as well. Everyone gets a suit. <laughs> I, I'm kind of digging it. The look <laughs> of it is cool. Uh, Riri does feel a little forced, though, because yeah. she was recently introduced. Like, she's just brand new to the comics, and her story is so far removed from what's yeah. happening with Tony right now and the whole Civil War II mess that it. I mean, we'll see where it goes. We'll see how those two characters connect. But as of now, it does feel like, unlike the Cap Falcon situation, or even the, the female Thor situation, yep. this does feel a little bit more like, look what we're doing. I'm thinking of it like Batman, Batman Beyond. He just went out and found some, he, he found some guy. And he's like, you, you are the one. You will be my whatever. Mm -hmm. You will take my name and move forward and mm -hmm. protect the world, whatever. And he's obviously um, had Robins as well. And he's had Robins, but I mean- They just keep dropping like flies. Yeah. And just keep getting more. <laughs> you should stop shopping. Yeah. <laughs> you should I mean, just Dick stop. Grayson was the only real success story. If I were like some guy with millions of dollars and I was like, man, I don't want to do this anymore. Mm, who do I? I'm just gonna Google around and see who won the local science fair like 42 times in a row. Yeah, but that, that's kind She's of already all, also <laughs> built her own suit. So. Yeah. yeah that's how oh, she has her own iron, iron suit. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like this isn't gonna be forever. I mean, we know eventually Tony Stark's gonna come back as Iron Man. That's part of why I say it feels kind of forced. Like they're doing this now, just to you know get their their name in the in the zeitgeist a bit, and then Tony Stark will, will take over again, just like when Captain America died. Right. We knew that wasn't real. I mean, you could say that everything is forced because it doesn't matter who you pick to be any hero, it's always going to go back to the original person yeah. nine times out of ten. Like, ah, oh, Tony Stark, yeah, no, he just like stopped for a little while, but we rewound the clock here and we're putting it back 20 years and he's 20 years younger and this is a new comic line with Tony Stark once again. You know what I mean? They, how many times can Bruce Wayne be Batman? Apparently forever. Yeah. Well, I mean, that, I mean that's the whole point, isn't it? Is that... And, and and the interesting thing with um, with with these characters is we have Steve Rogers' Captain America back yeah. now, and we still have Sam Wilson's uh, Thor and the uh, uh, Sam Sam yeah. Wilson, Sam Wilson. So when did that happen? That's gonna be a great. That, that's gonna be the next step mm -hmm. as they make him Thor. So we we have both Captain Americas, and in the fall they're going to be releasing two Thor comics, yeah. one following the old unworthy Thor and then one following the uh, Jane Foster's Thor. So because Tony comes back does not mean that Riri, Riri is going to yeah. disappear. She'll still be She'll still be there. Iron Maiden, which is what they should be calling her because it's freaking <laughs> awesome. Yeah, like spikes. Yeah, coming out, that'll be energy spikes. Um so what would okay, so so it does feel forced for you. What what Tatiana for you would be a move that one of these comic book companies would make where you'd be like, oh, they're just doing that for the... You're, they're not doing the it for the story, they're doing it for the hype. While I have no problem with them doing it, mm -hmm. I fully acknowledge the fact they're only doing this for money. Right. I mean, they have these comic book movies attracting more people, a younger audience, an audience with very different views mm -hmm. from, you know, the I'll call them legacy. The legacy audience. Mm -hmm. You know, the older crowd who's been... They have a different view than this young 
young crowd. They're just not the same people, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, of course, I'm not going to speak in like such extremes. I mean, there are people in between, whatever. Right, but, but um, in the 60s, that generation that was growing up with the, when these characters were first introduced, very different from our generation. And so they're trying to, you know, appeal to a wider audience. The audience that is going to the, the people that are going to the movies and paying for it, they want those people to buy their books. To what degree is anything genuine anymore mm -hmm. when they stand to make millions of dollars off of it? It is, uh, one thing I do, I mean, I, I totally understand your whole feeling of it, it isn't genuine, it is for money. But the really great thing is, is they are getting very passionate writers and artists on these comics. Um, you know, someone like uh, um, the writers and people that are working on uh, the Miss Marvel comic. You know, Miss Marvel is now a, a, a teen Muslim girl. Yeah. Uh, that comic is awesome. And the things they are doing with these characters, like Female Four, that comic's been really great. Yeah. And, like her arc has been great. Sam Wilson's, uh, Sam Wilson's Captain America, very interesting take on why he differs from Captain America. Yeah. So I'm actually very hopeful that when Riri does don the Iron Man suit that they are going to do something fresh because you Tony Stark's story can only be told so many times and we always kind of need a break from it yeah um, and he's doing his own thing like trying to find out his real parents and stuff like that so it, it does I think allow for even though it is probably mainly a move for, for money well that, that might be like the you know the overhead might be like, oh, it's for money, but everybody that they're they getting in the process, mm -hmm. it's like people who are very, like, they care. They care a lot about diversity. I mean, if you read any interview, they're like, it's about damn time mm -hmm. that it wasn't just men or it wasn't just white guys mm -hmm. or, you know what I mean? It wasn't just like this particular pe person. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we also have things like A-Force, which is, you know, they, it is, the, none of the characters really on that are, are new, but it is a, f a team of all female superheroes. Um, and yeah, I, I, I agree. I think even though maybe the ultimate thing, I mean, the ultimate thing that pushes anything is money, but they do care about these characters. There is an underlying, you know, they're not just doing it without kind of any plan. Yeah, and um, people are having a tough time with it because I feel like nobody really likes change. They don't like somebody being like, this is what you know, and that's great, but we're gonna put it over here and we're gonna take this out. And we're gonna be like, you're gonna like this. Right, right. Nobody likes that because they're like, but I ordered fish and I, you gave me, you gave me turkey. I didn't <laughs> want that. <laughs> Gotta burn this place to the ground. <laughs> well, yeah, that's how the internet works, yeah, you know. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. So, what do you guys think about uh, either Suicide Squad or the new changes that are happening in the comic book industry? Uh, leave a comment below, and for all future comic book news, stay right here on GameZone.com. Oh.